everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at an easy way to turn pentatonic scales into modal sounds. What we're going to do is we're going to take your familiar pentatonic shapes that you already know, the major and the minor pentatonic, and we're going to add one target note to each one, and it's going to create a modal sound. Alright, so this is how it's going to work. We have major pentatonic scales. There are basically three basic modes that work in a major over a major. So that would be Ionian, Lydian, and Mixolydian. Now the Ionian, um, you know, we're basically just going to stick with your basic major pentatonic because if you want a major sound, just stick with major pentatonic. If you want to add a, a, a seventh scale degree in there, that's fine. But um, it's pretty much, we're going to do Lydian and Mixolydian. We're going to make your major pentatonic, we're going to add one target note to it. So you get to use your familiar major pentatonic shape. That's A major pentatonic. You'll see that in, the, in your first diagram, the tab PDF that you can download for this lesson. Um, and we're going to add one note to it to create either Lydian or Mixolydian. And we're going to do the same thing for minor. We're going to start out with a basic minor pentatonic scale, so in this case A minor pentatonic. And we are going to turn it into a Dorian sound first, and then we're also going to make it a Phrygian sound. All right, so let's take a look at this chart real quick. Now we have our basic A major pentatonic, if you don't know that. You'll find that in the very first uh, diagram. Now what makes uh, a Lydian scale sound the way it does is it's a, basically a major scale with the sharp fourth scale degree added. So all we have to do now is find out where that is and add that around our basic minor, a major pentatonic shape. Okay, so we have, if we have this A, you'll find right here the first note we have is a D sharp. So in uh, A, it's going to be a D sharp, it's going to create that Lydian sound. We have another D sharp up here at the fourth fret on the second string. So play your basic major pentatonic shape. And just by adding those little target notes in there, it now creates a Lydia, an A Lydian sound. Pretty simple stuff. So you can maybe put a little A foundation there so you can hear this. Alright, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Now, if we want to do Mixolydian, all we got to do for Mixolydian is it kind of has, uh, has a flat 7th scale degree based, added to a major scale. So all we have to do is find that flat 7th scale degree and that will give you your Lydian sound. So where is it? Well, if you make sure you're looking at the chart here and if you look at the chart, we have uh, a T there for the target notes in the big white square. So you know where all the target notes here is. So we have, in this pentatonic scale, there's a flat 7th, it's a G in the key of A. And then keep going up, and then at the 8th fret on the B string. So now we have Now we have a simple Mixolydian sound, just visualizing our standard pentatonic shapes. It can't get any easier than this. Now let's take a look at the minor modes. So obviously if you want a, a, just an Aeolian mode, which is the natural minor, most players would just use the standard minor pentatonic. Okay, but if we want one of the other minor modes, which is either Dorian or Phrygian, we have now... Um, to add a couple different target notes. So for to get the Dorian, the Dorian mode is unique because it's the only mode with a minor third in it, which makes it minor, uh, but it has a major sixth scale, scale degree. Now, so that major sixth being added as a target note will create a Dorian sound. 
All right, so let's take a look at the paper here. We have right there around the basic minor pentatonic shape that we all know and love. Back one fret at the fourth fret on the D string, there's your first target note for Dorian. Then at the seventh fret on the B string. Okay. All right, so that's very identifiable Dorian sound. Um, but you still get to use all your basic pentatonic licks that most people are very comfortable playing and just adding one little note in there is going to change the whole ball game. All right, so let's end this with your, uh, your Phrygian. Now Phrygian, it's a minor scale, but it has a flat second scale degree, which really makes it stick out and um, sound unique. So that's pretty easy. A half step up from each of the root notes is your flat second scale degree. Okay, so we have So it has that very identifiable Phrygian sound to it if you add a little low note to it. So take these scales and of course move them around. Obviously with these pentatonic shapes, if you have A minor pentatonic here, you can move it up to C and play everything there. Or up to E. And you have uh, you know pentatonic all over the neck. And these target notes will just obviously just correspond to all those shapes just the exact same way. All right, so I'm going to continue this and uh, show you how to do, guys to do this with more than just the little root pentatonic shape, the root major shape and the um, minor pentatonic shape. I'll show you where all the target notes are for all the pentatonic shapes. All right, so I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.